Hi, I'm going to begin by making this figure shown on the bottom left hand side. I've already created the main bounding box which has a dimension of 5 by 6 by 4. And the first thing I'm going to do is get the angled surface by using the chamfer tool. I'm going to select on this edge and if you look at the figure you'll see that it goes back 4 in each direction. So I'm going to select OK. And then the next thing I want to do is take this little bit out of the bottom. So I'm going to sketch on the bottom plane. And now what I want to be able to do, I'm going to use, utilize the Use icon to select these two lines, which are going to form two sides of my rectangle. And then I'm going to use the Line tool to place the other two. And then I will use the Trim tool to trim out some of the parts that I don't need. And now I'll use my dimension tool. Uh, well, actually this dimension uh, is there. I want to put this dimension in. And that dimension is going to be 2. And I'm actually going to put this dimension in over here. And this one's going to be 1. So we'll say OK. And I just want to extrude this up a cut of 1. So we'll say extrude going to flip the direction, remove the material, and just remove um, a unit block. Alright, so we're starting to make the part. Now the next thing I want to do is do this side cut. And to do that we're going to sketch on this surface. And again I'm going to utilize the Use tool to utilize this part and this part as um, those two edges as part of my sketch. And I'll just use a straight line across and another straight line across and I'm going to utilize the trim tool to get rid of this uh, material that I don't want to utilize in my sketch and now our distance from the top I'm going to utilize the dimension tool and put in a dimension of 1 and our value from the very bottom is going up oh, wrong one is going to be a dimension of 2 so I need to get rid of this dimension that I put in by accident and it's going to let me put in my dimension of 2 and we'll say OK now this one we're going to extrude to remove material in a distance of 2 so I'll say that I'm OK, and we'll go to the Extrude icon, again flipping the direction, removing material, setting the distance equal to 2, hitting Enter, and selecting the check mark. Now I have a cut on the other side, but there's not symmetry here, so there's actually, I'm going to want to put in a datum plane, and we can actually utilize this cut I always already made by mirroring it. So I'm going to select a datum plane, I'm going to select this plane, as the reference plane and I'm going to come off um, into just pull it off in this direction and make the distance the translation distance 0.5 and we'll say OK I have to turn my reference planes back on let me just turn off uh, the default geometry and hide that so we just have our datum plane to work with and what I'm going to utilize is the mirror tool so let me select the part I just made, that's extrude 3, and I'll select the mirror tool which is activated over here on the right hand side. I'm going to select this datum plane as the part that I want to mirror and we'll say OK. So that has effectively cut my two parts out, or the part on the other side. Now I want to do a quick sketch on the top plane to remove just this little up. Yeah and I just have a slight square that I, or a rectangle that I need to utilize. So what I'm going to do is I'll grab here on this corner and I will utilize... Oh, it won't let me do that. That's an angled surface. So um, I'll, just utilize, I'll just put in the dimension itself. So the dimension here is going to be 3 and it's going to have a height 
of just one. And we are going to say done. Go back to extrude. Again, flip the direction and remove material. And I guess I'll be specific here. I'll go through a distance of one. And we'll say OK. And now there's only one last piece to do is we need to remove this material on the side. So we're going to come here, sketch on this part. And it wants us to select another um, another plane for dimensioning. So we'll select this one over here. I'll say close. And now I again just want to create a quick rectangle. I'm going to utilize the coincident tool to snap there. And we want to verify this dimension, which is going to be 1. And this final dimension over here, I am going to dimension it from the edge of the sketch to the front edge of the part. And that is going to be a total distance of 2. We'll say OK. And now we are going to extrude this part. We'll say done, and we'll extrude. We're going to flip the direction and remove the material, and I only need to go down a distance of two. So we'll say OK. And I don't think that's right because I don't know if I made that distance actually one. So let's go up to the analysis tool to where we can do measure and measure length, and let's verify that that is 1. Indeed, it's not. It's 0 0.709. So let's go back to the original sketch and extrude 5, sketch, edit the definition, and we'll come back here, and indeed I left this dimension unspecified, so we'll change it to 1, and now we'll say OK. And there we go. So now we could, well now I can actually represent it in an isometric view and center it and hide my datum planes and I think we did a pretty fair job of creating this part. Now one thing I would like to do is check the volume. So let's analysis under the analysis tab we can measure volume of the part. And here my volume is 46.5 and we could check a few areas if we wanted to. So analysis measure area so we could measure the area of this surface, 12.7279. And this area, notice it selects both of them because they're considered the same, they were created at the same time. And that's our part.